What's going on YouTube? Long time no see. This is Dan here from Liquidation Pros and I'm actually on my way now uh, over to my buddy's house, or not his house, I'm sorry, my buddy's warehouse um, because I worked out a deal to where I'm going to be allowed to get start receiving shipments there. He has a forklift, a loading dock, um, a loading ramp, so pretty excited about that. Uh, I just want to do a quick short video. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to film there. I'm actually just on my cell phone now because I know I haven't posted in a while. And I kind of want to try to keep you guys up to date. It's been a, a an interesting journey through all this COVID stuff, and um, been a lot harder to find inventory. But I do have six pallets of Target inventory coming in, so let's uh, let's go over there and take a look and see how this is all going to play out. I'll see you at the warehouse. So uh, here's the truck they sent out. Back to rail to the loading dock. Fork lifted off, and. Uh, Six pallets of merchandise. All right, so the truck's heading out. Quick look at what we got. Six pallets of Target inventory. Really nice having a forklift unload this stuff. Looks like some pretty good merchandise. A lot of new stuff still sealed up, diapers. Um, it will be a lot of flea market stuff here, but definitely some good online eBay, Amazon stuff as well. So uh, in upcoming videos, I'll try to do a few of unboxing some of this stuff to show you guys what I got. But for now, I just wanted to show you the new process for getting everything off the truck. Thanks to the big bork.
That looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Man, the benefits of having a forklift. All right, guys, I hope you thought that was pretty cool. Just a quick little video of my new operation for uh, bringing uh, inventory in to my buddy's uh, warehouse. Lenny, I really appreciate you doing that for me. Um, just for those who are wondering, he's just charged me rent and a delivery fee. Um, we worked out a deal per pallet, so it's going to be a big help. Um, take a lot of work out of my back, hauling stuff to my basement and stuff. I can process it there over the weekend when no one's in the shop and then decide if I'm gonna put it on eBay or the flea market and send it off that way. Um, and the other thing is I got some big news is I just stopped at the bank. Um, I'm work I worked out a deal for uh, basically a, uh, it's gonna end up being like a delivery truck so I can also back up to that loading dock and move inventory around by the pallet. So uh, I'm gonna go get, today is Tuesday and I'm going to pick that truck up on Friday, I already put a deposit on. So I'll do another quick video showing you guys that truck. Um, maybe like a, a video of like, I'm gonna do a bunch of work to it because this is an older model Ford, F2, right? it's an F450, but it's a 2002, so it does need some work. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, I think it might be cool to show like some before and after videos, I'm gonna turn it into a steak body truck. So anyhow, I hope you appreciate, like the video. Um, if you would, leave some comments down below. If you're doing liquidation, how are you uh, taking the pallets in? How are you processing them? Do you have a warehouse? You're doing it from home. So this is a big step for me to move into the next level um, and hopefully eventually owning my own warehouse. So anyhow, uh, good hearing from you guys. Take care. Hope everyone's being safe out there. Cheers.